Again, this is the Weber uh, Go Anywhere grill. It's uh, square and rectangular in nature and easier to stow and hopefully very small, easy to transport and store away, but still able to be functional and uh, cook all your food. Um, it comes with all these parts here, the grill itself, as I went through in the unboxing video. You should have these two uh, rounded stands. This is what it stands on. Two grates. One is a little different than the other, including uh, shape and color. I have a few washers here, four to be exact, and this metal hanger thing. Not quite sure what that is yet. And uh, three sets of these handles and their accompanying screw. Uh, last but not least, it comes with these things here. All right, so again, grab your Phillips screwdriver and let's begin. Let's go ahead and put this, uh, these handles on. Stick this one on top and the accompanying part to the bottom. Stick a screw and put it in. Uh, turn it. But uh, as you screw it in, you want to make sure it's nice and tight sandwiched around. Okay, so the screw pulls it in. You'll see what I mean. If you try it out and the uh, handle is still loose, try to make sure it's all together before you screw it in. Okay, so it's all together, all the way around. Now it is plastic, so don't over tighten. But as you can see, it's not separating now. Before it did, so let's try it again with these side handles. I'm gonna have my Weber facing upwards. Like this. And take this on the other side and sandwich it just like before. And as you screw, hold it with your other hand so it doesn't separate. It's pretty tight on there now. So really get the screw all the way in there without over tightening. Let's do the other side. Oops. Okay. Good. We'll be doing this next. I'm gonna take these two things as well, because I think these these mount on these while using a washer. Sounds a little complicated. Um, and then I'm gonna pin this through. Very complicated stuff. Oh! These two washers over there. Oh my gosh! Put this through this hole. This is not easy to do for the camera. Would you believe that I'm a mechanic for a living? Okay, I'm not a mechanic. I don't know nothing about cars. Ah! Doesn't fit! No! Okay. Does this bend? I don't get it. Why? Why did they make it like that? If you're having trouble watching this video, imagine how hard of a time I'm making this video. Uh, it's not easy, okay. So it's not very flexible. Get this washer in there. Oh crap, I forgot it. Uh, oh my gosh. That's really tight. Oh. Uh oh. Where's my other washer? Oh crap. Ta da! Oh my gosh. Ah! Oh, it's hard to. Ouch! God, that's stiff. It doesn't even move. Ah, oh, crap. I think I did it wrong. Oh, you know what? I, this one is supposed to go on that side. Oh my gosh, I'm such an idiot. I'm very frustrated and I do not want to take these off, but you're gonna watch me. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, I gotta take this thing off again. 
you want to map it out before you do it, okay? So according to the directions, you want it to be standing. I mean, you want it to be, oh crap, I hope I didn't lose washer. Let me just do a dry run on you. Okay, so that's the way you want it, okay? So go ahead and try it out without those metal slats there. Okay, I'm aware this is the worst video I've made and uh, I don't care because this is, I'm just trying to assemble my damn grill, okay. Oh, Jimmy, why don't you get a real man's grill? Why is this one so small? Ah, oh, where's the washer? Crap. Ah. Hey, hey, I got it, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Crap. And nothing holds it there, you just gotta hold it there and then stick it in that hole. Ah. I had this reversed the other way around last time. This side should be easier to go. This is not an act, people. I really am having trouble with this. Okay. Oh, shit. There's a lot of tension here onto this hole. Yeah. Yeah. Ow! Oh my gosh. Now that is the right position. Oh, crap. Man, push it down. Oh, yeah. How is that a lock? I don't understand. This is how it locks, people. It kind of joins in like this, and there's gonna be a lot of tension here. It actually brings these together. So um, bring it in close, and to lock it, you know, stretch these legs together, get it in that V right there, and squish it together. And it should lock in place. Put the Ow, my. It that goes on top. Right there. This is the kind of assembly I'm talking about. One, two, three. There we go. Not quite sure what this is for. Oh, that was a lot of tension there. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring this feet up. Uh, there's these two little nubbins right there. One, there's one on the other side too. Okay, I'm gonna move this out of the way so that this thing can snap into place. There. Um, now I can lift up this entire thing because these are holding it in place. So let's go ahead and uh, get ready to barbecue. I'm going to unlock this, unlock this, and then take my cover off, swing it under here. Oh shit. God damn this thing. Oh, I'm gonna have to get used to this thing. Um, I'm not quite there yet. Okay, let's keep going, shall we? All right, so it did say something about when after you were doing this that you should lift this thing up for some reason. And now I'm going to tip this over. So maybe uh, what this does is it catches the juices of the, or you know, from the lid maybe, but it is not a hinge. It simply just holds on there for your convenience. And slide it back. Enjoy your Go Anywhere grill. Thanks guys for watching and uh, go ahead and make sure you watch this video again so you don't make the same mistakes in assembling it like I did. Save your fingers!